Welcome to the Church Media Production, I'm Andrew, and today I'm going to show you how to cut someone out on the green screen using the color range tool inside of Photoshop. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up a new composition inside of Photoshop. I'm using CC 2019, but this should work in just about any version of Photoshop. Um, so what you want to do is just take your screenshot or whatever your image is, drag it into Photoshop, and then scale it up to whatever size you want. And then you can kind of position it wherever you like. And then what you're going to want to do is, because most images aren't directly editable, you're going to have to right click the image and rasterize layer. Doing that will convert it into something that you can actually edit. So you're going to want to go up here to select, color range, and then as you can see, the entire image is highlighted in red. That means that it, that entire image will be highlighted and then you can delete it or replace the color, whatever you want to do. But so what we're going to want to do is click the little eyedropper here with the plus sign and then go ahead and click in the green and then you'll see it highlights just me now. But as you can see by the image, there's still a little bit of shadows here that are not completely selected. So you're gonna to to click around on some of the dark slots until that gets solid white. So that means that everything will be deleted. And then of course you can adjust your fuzziness. Usually that's good enough for me. And then what you do is you just hit okay and you'll see that all of the green screen will be selected or highlighted. And then you can go ahead and hit the delete key to remove the background. I usually hit it a couple times just to be safe. And then you can Command D to deselect it. So then if you go ahead and take an image and grab a color, let's do like a gray. Draw our image up. And then you can see I'm now above the gray. Then one other thing that I normally do is if you go ahead and we can zoom in just a little bit, you can go and grab the, uh, the blur tool and then you can kind of run around the edges just to soften them up a little bit. This just helps because sometimes depending on how your selection was, it can be a rough selection and we don't want that. So once you're done with that, then you're good to go and you can go ahead and place some text over your image or whatever you want to do. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit the like button, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button followed by the bell icon, and make sure you let us know anything else you want to see us do, and we will see you next time.